Alright guys, what is up? So, I'm going to be, as I said in the campaign video, I'm going to be doing some zombies. Um, I've actually, I've, I've been playing zombies for a while. Uh, my first zombies experience was on Black Ops 1, when I was like, I don't even know how old I was. I was, I was very young, let's just say that, I was very young. Um, and I, I'm not, the brightness wasn't actually turned up at all, so I literally could see nothing whatsoever. Um, first map I ever played was Kino, and um, I remember just, just sitting there with my mate, absolutely bricking it, because I had no clue what was going on. All I could see was just the black screen. Every now and then I'd see some fucking eyes or something. But yeah, uh, at the moment I'm enjoying this new zombies, however, there's a few things I don't particularly like. Uh, I don't, I don't like the, uh, the the whole like menu stuff. Like the pack punch is now in a menu. I don't like how that oh, looks. I don't like how there's this crafting table thing. I don't know how you fill up ammo over there. Where the fuck is it there? Um, but yeah, I don't like this at all. I feel like this is a very big cop out. I don't like how you can buy monkey bombs. I feel like that's not OP, but it's just unnecessary. Like it was a lot easier and funner when. You'd have monkey bombs, your mate would go down, and then, like, you'd use all your monkeys and you'd pray for a max ammo for the next time your mate was too bad. That you, that you could actually get some monkeys and use them to help pick him up, but you know, no, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm alright with it at the moment, I'm alright with it, I'm alright with it. Um, <clears throat> I like the Molotovs though, these are very, very useful. When it gets to like higher rounds, like 50 ish plus or 40 plus, um, I feel like they they help so much. Like they're, they're, they're very powerful. They are. They um they did did a lot of damage and they did a lot of damage to the entire like like horde. Uh, and you could just keep running back and forth like around the the Molotov to like get as much damage as possible, which is which is pretty pog. Uh, the reason I'm using the MP5 is I'm actually trying to get the uh, diamond for zombies even uh the diamond for zombies on the smgs so at the moment i'm going, I'm going for the mp5 because i feel like it's quite a good start i can go for since it's the first thing you unlock um i just need to level this gun up at the moment i think the level 40 is where the next skins can uh the next uh yeah skins are available um camos even i'm so used to csgo um, I'm also not really a big fan of the whole stim shot stuff, the whole... I, I don't like how... I, I preferred... I loved Black Ops 3, like, and I'm not too sure about how underpowered the pack punch upgrades are. Because when they were introduced, I was like, what the f what, what is this? Like, it, they're too overpowered, but they are so useful when it comes to high rounds, and now normal guns are just pretty much useless when it gets past round 60. It's quite actually depressing to be honest. So let's move on through here, go towards the facility. I'm not actually sure, I can't, I don't actually know, Does I'm not sure if that opens, because in the original act it actually, the zombies rip back the wall, a loose change. Now this is a very, I'm not going to lie, this map, I absolutely love the map itself. I I love the bits because it just plays on the entire outside part of of Nac, Basically, like you've always been able to see the plane that's broken and stuff like that. And I just think that's so awesome that they've made it into a full-on map. Um, oh my, just went blank. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So. I'm really enjoying this game at the moment, but yeah. The thing is, with zombies, a lot of the time DLC is a big part because the first map is almost always semi decent. Well, we'll ignore Black Ops 4 because neither Voyage nor XI or 9 or whatever it's called, or IX or whatever. Neither of them were particularly amazing. They were good, but not not too pog. Um, let me see 4. I went through him, huh? But yeah, um, 
lot of, a lot of first maps like Kino and Town. Well, I say Town Transit wasn't really a big hit, but a lot, a lot of the first maps are big successes, and then the DLCs are what solidify the game as a classic. Like for example, with uh, with, with um, Black Ops Four, I don't feel like uh, what was it called? I don't even know the names. I, I did literally didn't play Black Ops Four at all. I just did not enjoy the game at all. I think that was the first first Call of Duty I didn't actually properly, properly play because apart from Infinite Warfare, but we don't really count Activision games. Grab the pack, punch parts, of course. The LW3 Tundra, I'm guessing it's always purple because it's one of the last guns you unlock, I guess. Turn on the prep. And then what you want to do is you want to do the uh, the disco easter egg. If you don't know what that is, I'll just show you quickly now. The easiest way to set up is then you don't have to pay the jug at all. Shoot all of these wisps that I'm going to shoot now. Two. There's five wisps, I believe. One up there. Perfect. One down here. Hope we got that. And this one here. There you go. And then you should start to teleport. There you go. To the dark ether. Oh, double points. Oh, that's a bit of a waste, actually. And then, boom. The big meme of the dancing coffin geezers. Now, I've tried loads of things, but you can't actually kill these guys, which is quite upsetting because, you know. Points of points, but you know, and also some of the zombies are glowing and some of them aren't, which I'm not sure if that's a bug, but you know, it happens. And also, I think this might, this must be a, this must be a bug, because there's a random, is that a stoner or a crig? I think it's a crig. There's a random crig just floating about. I'm pretty sure it comes up to like float up, up here. I right, see. So, yep. Oh, disappeared. I was back over there. Yeah, that, that, that's not meant to happen, I don't think. You can get on top of this. There you go, you can boogie with them. And then you go back. So this actually, I'm not sure if any of you know this, but this actually gives you a free Juggernaut and a free either legendary or epic weapon. So it gave me an epic to grenade launcher. Brilliant, love that. Drank a C4. Beautiful. Bollocks. Fuck you. Correct. Uh. There you go, and there's the max. Uh, I'm gonna stay down here actually. I'm gonna stay down here. Oh, time for the boss man. This is the point where you need, where you know you need to either pat or upgrade your weapon. No, I can't do any more than that. Pretty stinky. Oh, yeah, you big bugger. Oh, fuck, he's over there. That's good. Ow, ow. to my point hole. You keep doing 180 your donut. Oh, don't try and slap me up, please, my friend. Oh. Sprinting. 
Oh. There goes his thing. I feel like this is really not a good gun. Little just are usually semi decent in these games, but he's really not cutting it. Oh! So look at the wonder weapon, I think, because it's quite it's quite useful, especially for higher higher rounds. Uh, its skills are just absolutely demolishes everything. So oh, it's a back punch. Your mother. Up to you. Ooh, Not too useful, but whatever. I like how they've made it so that, um, I know this isn't Black Ops 4, but you don't need to reload for it in a max ammo. That's pretty cool as well. Heavily. Oh. Use Rico. What the fuck? Ow! You fuck! Mother. See, I played this map earlier, and um, I, I had the ray gun, and I had this MP5. But I didn't have this. So I'm just hoping that this could possibly carry me to higher than 50 because I got absolutely shat on a 50. Stupid boss on the absolute deck I mean, the dogs leapt on me and oh, it was not fun. Look at that lunge! What a fucking tiger from XI! They spawn? Oh fuck. What the fuck? He's randomly spawning in like that, it's annoying as hell. This fog is a bit too thick, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why they made a fog roll back in. Maybe for the memes, maybe for some stupid reason. I don't know.
cool. Why do I do these risky ass moves? What the fuck? I've done it. Oh no. Oh my god, I died like that. Jesus lord, that was embarrassing. Oh for fuck's sake, that was so stupid. Well, that was that. <laughs> um. Oh fuck. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get to above round 100 and maybe post some around 100 gameplay. Um. So leave in the comments if you want to see that. Um. I'm going to also post a bit more of this and maybe put on some multiplayer. I think I might stop the campaign series because my PC really seems to not like recording campaign. Um, because of the cut, there's all the cutscenes. They're so choppy and like, yeah. I think I'm, I'm gonna stop that series. But um, yeah, leave a like, subscribe. See you later, lads.